Hi, it's me Leo back again with another video. In this video, we're gonna be doing a Nintendo Switch OLED unboxing video and initial impressions. I've never actually owned one of the proper Switches and you might be thinking this is quite a weird time to buy a Nintendo Switch because there's rumors that the Switch 2 will be coming out this year, so why get a Switch OLED? So honestly, I don't really know why I picked up one of these. It wasn't even on sale. So essentially, this has got the same specs as the day one 2017 Nintendo Switch. There are only a few minor differences with the OLED. The OLED has a slightly larger seven inch screen with an OLED display, which means the display on this console should look a lot better than the kind of original Switch and the Switch Lite. And this supposedly has slightly better speakers and a slightly better kickstand than the original Switch. But yeah, it cost me about 290 pounds and it's literally just the standard white Switch. And as always, if you are enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And we're gonna aim for 20 likes on this video. Let's get on with it. So here we have the Nintendo Switch OLED in white. So I think this is like the most basic version of the Nintendo Switch OLED. We're gonna unbox it. Let's have a look what's inside. So I think there's a tab here at the bottom. Just got to undo that and then it'll open up. Right away, we have the two Joy-Cons in white. Here's one of them, I think this is the left-hand side Joy-Con. And then in this bag here, we have the right-hand side Joy-Con. So here they are, here are the two Joy-Cons. Let's have a little feel of them, very clicky. Let's put them off to the side. Okay, here we have the Switch console itself. So it looks very much like a very small tablet in a bag. Let's get this out. It's actually quite nice. So this does feel heavier than the Switch Lite, but um, that's kind of, Kind of goes without saying. So it's quite cold actually. I'm kind of wondering whether or not this is made out of metal, some sort of aluminium or plastic. I'm not sure. I think this edge is made out of metal. It does feel quite cold. It does feel very well made. And as you can see, there's the redesigned kickstand at the back. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to go pop this to the side. Let's have a look underneath here. Is there anything else in here actually? Um, little manual booklet that shows you how to connect it to your TV. It might be of some interest to some people. Pop that to the side. So let's carry on exploring. So in this bag we have the controller. I think you can slot both of the Joy-Cons into this. If you want to hook this up to a TV and use it more like an Xbox. So I think, yeah. So you can put both of the Joy-Cons inside this controller. Now it's slightly more like an Xbox controller, it's a little bit weird, but gives you the option. Okay, what do we have in here? Some bubble wrap. Ah, right, so this is the dock. Apparently this has been redesigned from kind of the day one switch. So I've never actually held the old dock, so I don't know what that felt like, but this feels all right. Um, yeah, just a dock for the switch. I think you can take the back off like so, yeah. And then there's a HDMI and the charger. So you plug that in and then there's now an ethernet, apparently that's new. And um, there's an ethernet port in there. So you can plug this to your TV. Oh, there's me dropping everything. So there you have it, that's the dock in white. What else do we have? We've got... This is the USB-C charging cable. So here it is, here's the Nintendo USB-C charger. So I've just had a look, this is a 39 watt charger, so it's kind of on the higher side of chargers. Let me just undo this tie here. So there you go. So it's a UK plug socket with a USB-C end, but I'm pretty sure you can charge a switch with any USB-C phone charger. So we've got these things, which are grips for the Joy-Cons. So there's one of them, there's another one. Got little bumpers on them. I believe if we were to take one of the Joy-Cons out just to show, so it goes from the bottom actually, you have to slide this onto the Joy-Con like so, and there you go, it's more like a Wii remote now. So if you're using this to play Mario Kart, it now has bumpers here and here, which are a bit easier to press than the small ones that are usually on the Joy-Con, well, otherwise you're pressing these tiny little buttons here. And finally in the box, what have we got? In case you didn't already have loads of HDMI's lying about, there's another one. So there you go, that was an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch OLED. I'm now going to set the console up and install some games and then give you my initial impressions. So I've now had a little bit of time to mess around with the Switch um, and install some games and 
just test it out for a little bit. So these are my initial thoughts on the Nintendo Switch OLED. So first off, in terms of size and weight, I think the size is very nice. This does feel significantly bigger than the Switch Lite, which is a very good thing. And the bezels are quite small compared to the non-OLED Switch, which is always good. And it does feel very sturdy, like especially this main body part feels very sturdy. One thing I have noticed is this Joy-Con on the left is slightly wobbly. And I've read online that that's normal. So I don't really care about that too much. So I did actually install some games just to give it a test. Um, so I think this is Super Mario 3D World or something. And yeah, as you can see, the screen is actually quite bright and very, very vibrant. Yeah, so I've got no complaints with the screen. It looks really nice. Um, obviously it's not the highest resolution screen but to be honest whilst playing games on this I don't really notice that it's only 720p it's obviously not as portable as a switch Lite, which is more portable lighter and smaller but if you do want to sit down at home and play a game this is in a way slightly better experience because it is a bigger brighter more vibrant screen and obviously because it is a full-size switch you can flip the kickstand up pop it on the floor and pull out the joy cons I'll slide them into this controller here. And there we are, we're playing Dark Souls on the Nintendo Switch, which is very cool. So there you go, there's my initial unboxing and first thoughts on the Nintendo Switch OLED. So I've actually had quite a lot of fun with this console in the few hours of testing I've had with this console because it is just a very different device to, let's say, an Xbox or a PlayStation. The games that you can get on this are different. You can obviously play Mario. So, so far, I'm very happy with this purchase, but I will be doing some follow-up videos on this console. So if you have got any questions about this Nintendo Switch OLED, leave them in the comment section below and they may make it into my next video that I'm gonna be doing on this console. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like, and I will see everyone in my next video.